Okay, it's time to get you started with Modisk for iOS. This app is going to work with iPhones and iPads, and it's going to make it so easy for you to enjoy using your triple play to back up photos, contacts, take pictures, take videos, you name it. So the first thing you have to do is go to the App Store and download the Modisk app, and that's spelled M-O-D-I-S-K. Once you've got the Modisk app, it's time to get started. Just insert your triple play into your iOS device, and Modisk is going to do the rest. It's going to open right up and ask you to allow notifications. Go ahead and allow notifications so that it can tell you when it's done doing things like backing up files. Once you insert the triple play, it will also ask you for permission to allow the Modisk to access your iPhone or iPad, and you're going to give it permission by hitting allow. Now it's time to get started using the app. And what you see is a very clean, attractive, easy to understand user interface. At the very top, it says back up everything, tap here. So let's do it. When you hit back up everything, tap here, what it's going to back up specifically are your photos, your videos, and your contacts. And that process is going to happen in stages. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is give it some permissions. So we wanna give it access to our photos. Of course, we hit okay. And then we want to give it access to our contacts. Again, it needs that to back them up. So we're going to hit OK. Once we do that, it gets started. Now, you're going to see a variety of different notifications on the screen as it goes through the process. And you'll see a percentage counter that shows you its progress level. As it's data filtering, that progress percentage won't always just go up. It might go back down and then back up. Don't worry. This is all happening as it's supposed to. Now, if you have thousands and thousands of pictures and videos on your iPhone or iPad, this whole process can take a long time. You can exit the app and let it happen in the background as long as you keep your triple play connected. As it's backing up photos and videos, it'll show you dates and numbers. Don't worry if they're not chronological. It will go through them in its own manner, but it is capturing all the photos and videos and contacts. So we're going to stop the process now, and you can do that by hitting cancel. And when you hit cancel, it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to stop. And we are sure because we're going to go on and do other things. Now, when you hit stop, everything that was backed up to that point is already saved. Now we're going to look through backup photos and videos, backup contacts, view files, and use camera. First, let's go to backup photos and videos. What this option allows you to do is pick specific photos and videos on your iPhone or iPad that you want to back up. Sometimes you don't need them all. You just need some of them. So it's going to go through again and request access to all of these photos and videos and filter the data so it's ready to get it done as quickly and efficiently as possible. This will only take a few moments. And while this happens, you're just going to wait. You'll see some of your photos scrolling on the screen, flipping back and forth as you see here. But once that counter gets all the way up to 100, it's going to show us our photos. And there they are. Now, this is all my photos. I can back up all just by tapping back up all at the bottom. Or I can go into all my photos and select the photos, the videos, the screenshots, different folders of photos I have. Notice the little white circle at the top. If I tap it, it selects all the photos. If I unselect it, it deselects all the photos. Okay, that was easy. Now I can just pick specific photos by tapping on individual images that I want to save. And when I found the ones I want to save, I tap backup. It gives me a choice of places to save it. Notice at the bottom I've created a folder called test. I'm going to put them there. But you could also create a new album and name it whatever you want. Pictures for mom, pictures for my sister, you name it. It's going through and saving. And I can see that it is done when it says backup complete. Now I can release space by tapping the blue SD card icon next to release space. This operation will delete the photos you just backed up. And if you hit continue, don't worry, you'll be given one more choice. My iPhone or iPad now asks me, am I sure I want to delete these photos? It will delete them from all your devices. You could always do it later, but if you do it now, they will not only be removed from the current Apple device you're using, but other Apple devices. Don't worry, they will remain in your deleted folder on your iPhone or iPad for about a month if you need to go back and get them again, but they're safely saved on your triple play. Now I'm going to tap backup contacts and I'm done. That's all it takes to back up 1,555 contacts. That was easy. Let's go back. And this time 
We're going to show you another feature that I particularly love about this app, and I think you will too. And that is the use camera feature. When you tap use camera, it's going to open the camera and ask for permission to access the microphone, which you have to give it permission to do. So you say, okay, and access the camera again, say, okay, it needs the microphone, obviously, because if you're recording video, you want the sound. So now I'm able to take a picture. No big deal, right? Except these pictures save right to your triple play. They don't use any local storage. Same with the videos. So if I want to record video or take a lot of pictures, but I'm running out of storage on my phone or my iPad, no problem. Use this feature and you can take as many as you like. You can fit thousands on the triple play, tens of thousands even. Now we hit the back arrow and that's going to take us back to our home screen. And by the way, you can use the front or rear facing camera. This time we're going to go to view backup storage. This is where we can view everything we've saved on the triple play. Notice there's backup and camera. Camera is where you'll see the pictures and videos you've taken using this specific app. The ones that are saved right on the triple play. There's the name and there are the folders, video and photo. So if I tap photo, I see three photos that I've taken on the triple play. And that beautiful picture of the ground is right there. Isn't that lovely? I can share it by hitting the bottom right corner icon. It's like a rectangle with an arrow pointing up. And that'll give me all of my share options. So I could email it, text it, save it, send it to Twitter or Facebook or a shared album, WhatsApp, Drive, you name it, whatever you have connected to your phone or iPad. There are some other options, but for right now, that should be good. So we're going to go back and back again and back again. If we want to view our backup of things that we've saved, that's in the backup folder. Your phone backup are the pictures and videos. Your contacts backup are, well, there you have it, your contacts. Okay, that's a contacts card. You can save that on a computer or another device. In the phone backup, again, the name and all of those folders. Remember test where I saved all those pictures from earlier? Well, you're starting to see them show up now. So when I backed up selected pictures like this one, there it is saved in that text uh, test folder. So we'll go back and back again and back again and back again. Of course, I could have just hit the home button to take me all the way back too. And there's one last thing to show you and it's called a hamburger menu. It's the three lines in the upper left-hand corner. Within this expanded menu, you have a variety of options, including changing the language, choosing third-party software to run media files, you can format your disk. There's backup, about, and get help. For now, we're going to go into backup. And within backup, you have a really valuable setting, auto backup. When this setting is enabled, when you enter the MoDisk app, it will automatically back everything up for you without having to do anything. It'll activate in a few seconds, and then you can go about your business while your backup is done for you. You also see delete the local data. This option will delete the local files you've backed up once the backup is complete. Those files will then be saved on your triple play, but no longer be on your device. Remember, the deleted files will still be available in the deleted folder of your device. But for now, let's deselect that. You can always turn it on when you're ready. Now we'll go back. The one other option that we want to focus on is get help. If you feel you need a little more support, you can always tap get help and it'll take you right to our website. There you'll find things like phone numbers, email addresses, additional videos and documentation. So this should give you all you need to get the help you want if you ever just need a little bit more support. Enjoy your triple play.